long time that I don't show up here and I know that so yeah I decided to come and say hello say that I'm still alive and healthy and safe I am still in Brazil though so I decided just to film a very simple video today just to show you guys what I actually brought from London to Brazil uh, if you guys don't know, I am from Brazil. I came to see my family and my friends and I couldn't go back home just yet because of COVID-19. But since I am home, like in my hometown, I could bring more stuff and I actually had to bring more stuff with me because I was tattooing here in Brazil as well. And I am a bit exaggerated, let's be honest. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I brought with me to illustrate, to tattoo and create. And I'm actually glad that I brought them because because I'm here now, not sure when I'm going back to London. I can actually do and produce a lot of stuff with everything that I brought. I'm gonna show you that now. To start with, I brought this A5 um, sketchbook. I, sh I have showed you before. I actually haven't used it yet. Not a lot of inspiration and I love this paper so I just don't want to waste it with something that I'm not very creative to do. So one A5 sketchbook. The other sketchbook that I brought which is insane, I know, is this uh, squared one is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. The brand, I'm gonna read it now, it's Sea White of Brighton. I've mentioned this before in other videos because I want to finish this by let's say August now. I was gonna say July but I don't know because I'm not having a lot of creativity and like not in the mood for it. But I brought it and I'm glad I did because when I feel inspired, I, I practice here first before I actually use a very good paper, which I actually had to buy here and I'll show that later. So I'm just going to show basically what I brought in my backpack. The other thing that I brought is this big purse. I don't know, but yeah, it's like, um, it's just for my watercolor which I'm very sad that I didn't bring my big palette. I just brought this 12 color set from Winsor & Newton. I love it. I can't handle this for basically everything, but when you get used to all those colors, you don't have to mix everything. You just want to keep using that. So you become a little bit lazy, basically. So I brought actually three brushes. <laughs> these three and then I found this one here in my stuff that I left in my mom's house and yeah the other thing that I found here is this cloth so it's already in my bag because I'm taking it back because it's a very good one so yeah this bag is from a brand here in my hometown I'll leave the link down below I have loads of this leather goods from this brand i'll show you more if so this is the other one the other one you've seen before i'll put the link up here it's from my pencil case organiza organization it's another pencil case leather one as well from the same brand as the pink one i know we don't have to bring that much but i literally brought everything that I use in, on a regular basis. So I'm not gonna show one by one, but basically four erasers, because I'm the eraser girl. Sketch things, fine liners, and ruler, and a normal pen, a gold pen just in case, a white pen, and some extras. All you need for sketching and doodling, which is great. So that's the pencil case that I brought. It's actually not very heavy, so it's fine for a backpack. The other tiny pencil case that I brought, if you compare to this one, it's a very tiny one, just a very tiny things. 
This one I just carry with me wherever I go. It basically has my iPad pencil, my Apple pencil, and a nail file because it's very handy. <laughs> and I also carry this charger for the Apple pencil, which I've I don't know if used once, but it's there just to protect my Apple pencil and I don't forget anywhere or it just get lost. The other thing I brought, obviously, is my iPad. And the other thing, my precious, my MacBook as well. So, yeah, this is all I brought with me. Um, I use a normal backpack. If you guys want to see what's in my backpack, I can do a video of that uh, later as well. Just let me know in the comments. And please tell me in the comments how have you been doing with this lockdown thing how are you coping with your creativity are you able to create i am creating like to be very honest very slowly like in a normal days and you're working and you have that pace for me it's much easier just sit down and do things three four hours and that's like work here i'm like i don't know i'm shocked and when you lose that rut you know that routine it's a bit hard but some days i just don't want to do anything but then other days like yesterday i could actually sketch and finish one tattoo and then i started another one so it was a huge thing for me so i spent like three hours and a half drawing so that's amazing and then when i want to do something and i have like no energy or no creativity what I've been doing is just sit down and watch Skillshare classes or any other online course that's available or YouTube videos, something that I can learn because then I can get like inspired by other people and then sit down and do my own stuff. For now, that's it, guys. Please let me know what do you like to take when you go on a trip. And I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.